In this video, we are going to talk about poliomyelitis. It is a disease caused by the virus, poliovirus. This poliovirus is a RNA single-stranded virus and it is also called enterovirus. Entero means intestine. It invades the intestine and first enters our body through the intestine. That's why it is called enterovirus. And the poliomyelitis, the polio is the poliovirus and the myel means the spinal cord. That means it affects the spinal cord. And itis means the inflammation. That is the inflammation of the spinal cord. Poliovirus causes the inflammation of the spinal cord. That's why it is called the poliomyelitis. That is a disease caused by the poliovirus. So at first, let's see the normal functions of the portion of the spinal cord and the neurons that the poliovirus is going to affect. So this is the brain and gradually zooming into the spinal cord. Spinal cords are connected with different types of neurons and this is the brain and the spinal cord the whole thing and there are some neurons called motor neurons these motor neurons have their cell body attached to the spinal cord and the endings to some muscles or some glands motor neurons can be connected to the brain also but I am showing here a motor neuron which is connected to the spinal cord. Motor neurons carries the signal from the spinal cord to the muscles. So the poliovirus affects these spinal cords or the motor neurons and causes inflammation in the spinal cord and the motor neurons. So let's see how the poliovirus gets inside our body. The poliovirus can get inside our body through contaminated food or drink. It can be fecal oral contamination or it can also enter our body through the sneezing or the coughing from the infected person. The contaminated droplets with the poliovirus, if it enters inside our body, it can also cause poliomyelitis. It gets inside our body and goes through the GI tract and it can invade the cells of the small intestine. Now it is entering through the mouth and going through the stomach and reaching the small intestine and it can invade the cells of the small intestine. So if we cut a section in the small intestine and zoom in, these are the cells of the small intestine. Now, when the poliovirus is present here, it can invade the cells of the small intestine. Now, if, you, if we zoom into one cell that is infected by the poliovirus, and the virus is inside the cell, and it releases the RNA, the RNA of the virus, and it uses the RNA polymerase of the cell of the human body, and through the help of the RNA polymerase, it will make more RNA of the poliovirus or the viral RNAs. Now, there are a lot of viral RNAs and these will make lot of polioviruses and they will get outside of the cell. And they travels, the polioviruses travels through the lymph node and then to the bloodstream. And from the bloodstream, the polioviruses reaches the muscles. The muscles have the motor neuron endings. The poliovirus travels from the nerve ending towards the nerve cell through the axon and it reaches the spinal cord. And the whole motor neuron and the spinal cord is infected. Now when it is infected, the white blood cells, the macrophages, the neutrophils appears. And they try to destroy the cause of the infection. During this process, it causes inflammation in the spinal cord and the neuron. And as a result, uh, the motor neuron dies. 
and this neuron is unable to carry any signals from the spinal cord to the muscles. As a result, the muscle starts to atrophy and become weak. This is the paralytic symptom of the polio or the poliomyelitic disease. For more details like symptoms, diagnosis or treatment, you can check the link in my description. Thank you so much. See you next time.